This week, we're going to check out a game that's a family-friendly brawler. Good, wholesome fun for kids of all ages. I mean, gummy bears fighting? How fun is this? No, not down in the pit. Help me! What the heck? Howdy, folks, and welcome to Bean Farm Gaming. And this is our review of... It's a Gummy's Life! I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by... EP Games! And published by... EP Games! It was released on September 24th to the Xbox console for the mediocre price of $19.99. This week, we're going to take a peek at a very interesting game that takes a solid swing at dethroning the king of the floppy dough boy brawlers, Gang Beasts. We've seen a gambit of recent games in this genre like Human Fall Flat, Totally Reliable Delivery Service, and the upcoming title, Party Animals. We've even seen multiplayer brawlers like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate have gone all the way to find success in the competitive tournament scene. So, what do you think? Gummy's life gonna dethrone the king of floppy fighters? Yeah, let's get into this. So, Gummies have invaded the city. They're everywhere. In the football stadium, in the park, in the fortress, in the fairground, even in the beehive. Okay, we've got a small array of stages to choose from. And you may choose from 16 different gummy characters, all customizable with unlockable cosmetic items that each player chooses before being thrown together into a battle royale. A Gummy's Life brings in multiple game modes beyond the basic brawl with your choice of Hot Potato, King of the Hill, Team Deathmatch, and the endlessly fun free-for-all mode. Each of these modes change up the rules of combat, so you have the option to switch up things if the game starts to feel a little stale. The developer has already pushed out several updates to the game and plans on continued support and expansions, taking suggestions through their social media and Discord channel. Now, I know you've all kind of seen this before, but here's the catch. A Gummy's Life allows you to play with up to eight players online or have local multiplayer brawls with your bros on the Friday night. <laughs> yeah! which is definitely a step in the right direction as most of its peers only allow for four player matches. Well, as with most beloved game, the proof is in the pudding. And in this case, the pudding is the gameplay. So how does this new competitor fare in the realm of gameplay? Here's some thoughts from our farmers. Hi there, farmers. I really like the different character choices and all of the different maps to choose from, just like humans fall flat. I would like it more if I could mix and match the characters, like have a shark bottom and a banana head. I think they should make the tutorial better, like I never learned how to drive a car. Also, I don't want to always play online make the collectibles available in single player. Hey Bean Farmers, it's me Team Bean 3 here and I'm giving my perspective of Gummy Life. <laughs> I did not really like playing Gummy Life. I played it single player, it was not fun at all. I'm sure if I played multiplayer, it would be a lot more fun. The CPUs are very strong and skilled, so I'd like to modify that a little bit to make it a little bit easier. That's all from Team Bean 3. See you all next time on the Bean Farm. So, like I previously mentioned, the game has a variety of different stages that have different strategies as each one brings new ways to throw your opponent to their squishy death. In the publisher's promotional materials, they said, have fun discovering all their secrets. Which would be an awesome way to swing the gameplay if every level had hidden little secrets that could give you special advantages. 
Unfortunately, during our playthrough, we failed to encounter any such secrets. Yeah, maybe they're planned for a future update, right? Speaking of future, we held on to this review for an extra week beyond the release date just to see if the multiplayer brawler that focuses on multiplayer brawling and focuses all of the item unlocks around these online matches would ever flesh out and then be filled with multiplayer lobbies once the game was released to the general public. Denied. Yeah. The game seemed to have run out of gas before the race had even begun. Even though the servers are cross-platform, which gives? The multiplayer really already is a ghost town, and I understand now why the developer would have all the cosmetic items hidden behind the, hey, you gotta play this online wall to unlock. I truly believe these games with the loose control scheme and the over-exaggerated movements are more than likely they will find their successes in a couch co-op or at least in pre-arranged small group parties. The random multiplayer felt chaotic and wildly uncontrolled. More of a game of chance than a game of skill. Which, don't get me wrong, we love these floppy chaotic brawlers, they're hilarious! We just didn't find much enjoyment if you didn't know the other characters you were playing with, such as the AI and bots. Come on, don't bullshit me. No, I'm serious, no fun. Here on the farm, we love a good game of Gang Beasts or TRDS, and we really had high hopes for Gummy's Life expanding upon this premise, paved by the previous floppy brawlers. The game breathes more life into local party games with features like vehicles and the opportunity to earn new cosmetic items, but with a large learning curve on how to drive the vehicles and the whole fact that we didn't find much success with the random online games. Overall, we're disappointed by the sparse environments, lack of secrets, power-ups, or anything to give the players a temporary advantage. There isn't anything here to keep players coming back for more after a short weekend of playing through each level and the AI's cheap shots can only be taken for so long, leaving us with... Two and a half. <laughs> Beans on the thigh. Yep, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the truck. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see. Harvest Moon! Besides Harvest Moon or call a pootie, let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming Chatty titles. and Daddy. The Spirit Guide. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fog.